Why, hello everyone. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Story Mode on Playframe. We have gotten Minfilia here to Nabatha Ring, and now whatever happens next is up to her. Thancred has bought us some time, fortunately, but all the same, we had probably better get moving. How are you feeling? The look in Minfilia's eyes is equal parts trepidation and determination. I can sense her presence, albeit faintly. Come on, let's look over by the crystal wall. Lead the way. At this point, I am just here for support. What a place. Quite lovely. Not in pristine condition, arguably, but still. Impressive. I'd have liked to have seen it in its prime. The place we're in now, by the way, in Nabatha Ring, is kind of to the far south of this area. Like, you can kind of see up there a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see up there the, uh, that inn at Journey's Head, that little care center where we first ran into Alice out here that she was patrolling and we were doing a whole bunch of stuff up there. Now we're just a bit south of that, kind of beyond the cliffs. Yeah, you get the idea. Probably better keep up with her, though. <laughs> and I see a little bit of a queue is forming, so why don't I go grab this real quick? I can wait my turn. Okay, it looks like it's my turn. <laughs> uh, she was here, on the top of this building. It is quite a sight. Maybe I'll just stand here and look with you. No, stand back. We shall stay the flood. But this is what I want. It's my sacrifice to make. Your time has not yet come. When all hangs in the balance, you must give them hope. This place.
Ours is a meeting long overdue. Full glad am I that we may finally speak. Hmm. It's good to see you again. Or I've come at Thancred's behest. That feels a little, I mean, also true. And I'm sure Thancred wouldn't mind the mention. Seems a little cold, though. You're our friend also. It's good to see you again. My dear, sweet child. Yours is a burden none should ever be forced to bear. Such pain and suffering you have endured. Yet still you came. For this and more, I thank you. I've lost count of the times I've almost given up. If people hadn't helped me every step of the way, I never would have made it. Yet here you stand, resolved. Now, tell me your heart's desire. To defeat the Sin Eaters, and bring this world back from the brink. The remaining Wardens have hidden themselves from us. But with the power of the Oracle, I thought we might be able to find them. Indeed you could. Their radiance would be unmistakable. But know, my child, that the power you seek will come at a price. We stand now at the crossroads. A decision must be made. It is only natural to be afraid, to hesitate. But for your many trials, you have grown stronger and wiser. And with the love and support of those you hold dear, you have grown to love yourself. Blood has washed away so much of this world. So many people and places and possibilities. And all the heroes who fought to protect them. Yet here the Scions are, trying so, so hard to help those few of us who remain, and seeing how tirelessly they work, how completely committed they are to the cause. I can't help but believe. I want to do more than just watch and cheer. I want to make a difference. I want to help them like they helped me, and maybe even inspire others to do the same. Coming together, providing for one another. That's the only way forward I can see. Since all of our heroes are gone, just have to make heroes of ourselves. Tis a beautiful, wonderful dream. One we share. Though my power was all but spent in staying the flood, I prayed this final act would give hope to those who survived. That self-same hope lives on in you. It gives me comfort to know that the future is in capable hands. If ever you should falter, remember this. No one, however powerful, is immune to the whisperings of doubt and despair. Do not give in to them. But do not deny them either. 
Look instead to the light within, that you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. Thank you, Minfilia, for believing in us, for believing in me. Dearest friend, no words can express my gratitude to you for keeping her safe in these tumultuous times. You are a hero to us both. But not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone. Only together may you change the fate of two worlds. Minfilia! You look different. Uh, what happened? I remember speaking with Minfilia, and then... Is something wrong? Um, your hair has changed or your eyes they've changed. Both true. Can't decide which is more surprising. Let's go with eyes. A parting gift, I think. Until now, I've walked the path she set before me. The path she set before all the Minfilias. But she's given me a new path. A new life that I can call my own. And even though she's gone, I can still feel her. Warm and calm and gentle. I can feel the beating heart of the world. The light that swells within it. And the Light Wardens. There's one here, in Amarang. Let's hurry back. The others need to know. You don't think Thancred will be angry with me, do you? Hmm. It's what Minfilia wanted, I'm sure he'll understand. Or there's only one way to find out. As always, both true. But that is a fact. It is what Menphilia wanted, and I'm sure he will understand that. I'd like to think so too, but... <sighs> Would you mind going on ahead? I'll be right behind you, I promise. You got it. This I can do. I just need a moment to think. I will give you that. You've been through quite a lot in the last ten minutes. I'll go check on the gang. Oh, the gang. Are y'all here yet? Hmm, didn't come in here, I guess. Come on, Claude. Apparently, I'm going to have to run much further than I thought. Who even needs a trolley? When you got a crab. Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. A new location. Ladle. It's an old station, looks like. How we all doing? Good to see you all caught up and are all safe. Doing good. Thou art returned. But where is Minfilia? There's a lot to explain there. I'm... You, you just wait. Welcome back. I see you fared better than Thancred. 
Well, thanks to Thancred, yes. Glad you're also okay. Dermon, thank the gods you're all right. You're back. We were beginning to worry about you. Oh, I'm I'm perfectly good. How are you, though? Ah, oh, there you are. We were worried. Really? He wasn't the one that nearly got himself killed. It's a good thing Arianger called on us when he did. You were at death's door when we found you. But thanks to your timely ministrations, I was not obliged to walk through it. Minfilia? You saw her. I know I haven't exactly been pulling my weight up till now, but that's all going to change starting today. I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to make Minfilia's dream a reality. I can track the Light Wardens now. Maybe even help you fight them. I'm glad you're back. You don't have to say that, you know. But I want to. Your family. How else would I feel? She will need a name. A name? A name of her own. I would not have her walk in the shadow of another any longer. And I think it a fitting tribute to our departed friend too. At the mention of Minfilia, I would remember the woman who preserved our fellowship when all seemed lost. Do you remember what you were called before you were taken to Yulmore? I'm sorry, I don't. I couldn't have been very old when it happened. Then we must think of a new name. Suggestions? If the lady herself has no preference, I think the honor should rightly fall to Thancred. After all they have been through together, he is practically a father to her. Well spotted. I'm so glad you're here to explain these things. <laughs> <laughs> and what exactly is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. What about... Green. Ah, blessing in Fae. Wait, doth this mean thou wert listening when I delivered my lectures on the Pixies? Not exactly, but that one word made an impression.
Of course, if it's not to your liking, I can think of something else. Re. Yes, I rather like the sound of it. Thank you. That settles it then. Welcome aboard, Reen. I won't let you down. Well, good. Welcome aboard in a more official capacity, Green. Thrilled to have you. Despite this glad turn of events, the suffering born of mine all too arrogant meddling paineth me still. And yet, their smiles do give me hope for the morrow. Me too. Reen's ether has changed. It has taken on a faint golden hue. Curious. Do you have any idea how worried we were when word reached us that Ranjit was alive and headed for the Hills of Amber? Oh, I can't wait for this to be over so we can all go home. Assuming we even can. Yeah, we'll worry more about that one later. Minfilia will be sorely missed. Though it was grandfather's legacy which first brought me to Eorzea. I would never have become a Scion were it not for her. Indeed, there would be no Scions, and two worlds would be the worse for our absence. Tataru and the others will no doubt be heartbroken to hear the news of her passing. Until such time as we can return to them, however, we must keep our heads held high. Though we've lost one Scion, we've gained another, after all. We sure have. Good job on the naming, by the way. Thank you for standing by Reen. And Minfilia. I'm sure it meant a lot to her seeing you one last time. Would that I could have been there to hear what words were exchanged between them. When all this is over, perhaps I'll ask. It's a deal. For perhaps the first time, the look on Reen's face is one of utter relief. Glad to hear it. I honestly don't know how to repay you for all you've done, but I promise to do whatever I can to help. Are you certain you're up to fighting so soon? I can't imagine the power of the Oracle is something one learns to wield in the space of a few hours. Maybe not, but the presence of the Light Wardens is unmistakable to me now. In fact, I sense one here in Amareng, to the west. I think it might be hiding underground. Underground? Then it's as we suspected. We thought it prudent to take a brief survey of the area prior to your arrival. To the west, we found the remains of a site known as Malika's Well. If I recall correctly, the well was built in remembrance of one of the ancient kings of Nabathareng to serve as a source of respite from the desert heat. It fell into disuse after the flood, whereupon the miners of Amareng thought to turn part of it into an excavation site. Judging by its size, the underground waterways are no doubt extensive. The perfect hiding place for a warden. Reen, are you certain you can track it down? Leave it to me. Then it's settled. We make for Malik as well. Let's do it! We got a sky to fix. I'll catch up. That's fine. Not now. Let's see. Come on, Claude. A little bit of a hike. But further west and down a little ways, I think that might be it. Or if not, I'll be very surprised. Yep, here we are. That the walls should still bear so great a burden after countless years of neglect bespeaketh the surpassing skill of their architects. I didn't expect to see Talos wandering about, 
much less of their own accord. How long must it have been since their creator's bones turned to dust? Though I cannot see it as you do, it is a no less awe-inspiring sight. Something about this doesn't feel right. A marvel of ingenuity, is it not? I do love the variety of things that your different party members would be thinking about or worrying about or whatever when looking upon the same site. The warden's down there. I can feel it. Well then, let me do a little bit of surveying of my own. It's here. I can taste its ether on the wind. Then we've finally found our mark. Let's put an end to this, Derman, and return the night sky to Amareng. I'd love to do that. Our next dungeon is accessible. Oh, but who to bring with? Hmm... Well, we got a lot of options this time. Let us examine them. So let's see. Uh, hmm. I, I feel like Reen and Alice should both be here. Reen, because obviously just recent story relevance and all of that. Alice, because this is the area that she invested a great deal of time trying to protect. It feels right for her to be here. Alphano, I am unsure. Uh, wait, I know who should be coming with us. Unfortunately for me, though, that does mean... Yeah, I'm going to have to remember how to white mage. <laughs> Very unfortunate for all of us, but hopefully I can remember just enough buttons to keep everyone alive. So, once more with feeling. Let's see. Yep, that feels like the right group, given everything. Okay, let me go ahead and pull up a description. Malika's Well. Mourning the loss of her beloved, the queen of Nabatha Ring commanded a great well be built in his memory, its waters offering respite from the sweltering heat. In more recent years, the well was transformed into an excavation site by the miners of Amareng. It has long since fallen into disuse, yet the presence of light emanating from within is unmistakable. What horrors await at the trolley track's end in the depths of this massive reservoir? Let us all find out together. And thankfully, Thankard will be doing the tanking this time, so at least that's a silver lining. Let's go. Commence. And here we are. Decent condition, considering. <laughs> Our poor little white mage. Just gonna have to survive. And also maybe eat something, that'd be smart too. Use a food. Take every advantage we can get in these trying times. All right, come on, gang. Can you sense the warden, Rain? Yes, but I think it's further underground. Then, to work. Let's see if we can shake off a little rust. There it is. We might just survive this yet. Neat vibe to this one, though. Pretty different from all the other dungeons we've done thus far. Flashbangs! Oop, not in the middle of that. Flashbangs with better positioning! There we go. Come along, team. 
Tancred, I really feel like you should be up front. I'd feel safer. You underestimate me. There we go. Yeah, been a while since we had a dungeon that was a mine of some sort. And I did like that the way it started out was sort of like a clear sort of resting area for the staff. Like you can sort of see the workings of what this place once was, but also what it was turned into. It's neat how much history you can read into the architecture. I'll show you. There we go. Further in. What do you suppose we'll find down here? I'm curious too. Doesn't feel as super often like we have dungeons that actually have like separate zones to them. I know it happens. It does definitely happen, just not all the time. Anyway, our first boss, the Greater Armadillo. Isn't that a little big for an armadillo? I was just thinking the same thing. There's a lot about this armadillo that I have questions about. Let's get it. To battle! There's simply something very funny about a Greater Armadillo. I don't make the rules. So here is the main mechanic with this fight. One of us damage dealers will be targeted with this stack marker, and that's going to leave the metal ball in the center there. We all need to get away from that because the boss is going to jump toward wherever that ball is and do a big AoE from there. And then a proximity marker like so, but then we want to immediately run back into the center to look out for this ring AoE. So lots of dangerous things back to back, but it is that same order each time. It is very predictable, and it's pretty easy to see all the individual attacks coming one by one, so... So long as you're watching for those mechanics, not much else to worry about. Almost got this thing. There we go. Phew. Glad that's over with. I agree. I am not in great healing practice. Haven't even been doing much white maging in my downtime. Always takes a dungeon run or two to get the muscle memory back all the way. There we go. Let's see. We need to climb down somehow. Well, there has to be a path somewhere. Um, sort of. Whee! Ow. It's fine. Not a path necessarily, but, you know, you know, it works. There we go. I see you hiding back here. Gimme. Further in, it's pretty much all mines now. With any luck, this tunnel will lead down. Seems to be. Get out of here, slimes. Good. And also mine. Um, more jumping, gang. Sorry. Whoa, that's a long way. It's fine. <laughs> it is sometimes silly how far they have you jump down. <laughs> With no perceptible damage to yourself whatsoever. But now, for the amphibious Talos. You can tell they're amphibious because they have water buckets all over. Is this some sort of joke? I can't tell. 
Let's fight it. Prepare yourself. So as with most of these dungeons and the way that they tend to go with the first and second boss, there's not a whole lot of mechanics that you really need to keep track of or worry about. Really, the one thing is this move, Well Bore, in which the boss is going to drill down in the center of the area with this very large danger puddle to avoid. Then these four water springs are going to pop up. That's an issue as well. You want to position yourself so you will not be knocked into one of these four. And then the boss is going to do one of these spinny moves here that we've seen a few times where they're going to fire off a succession of conal AoEs in front of them and then rotate a little bit to the side and fire off another over and over and over. And you just want to make sure that you do not end up in front of it at any point or else it will hurt really bad and you might very easily die. But so long as you can avoid that, that's pretty much the one big mechanic of the fight. But we've almost got him. Slowly but surely. Come on, get dead. Don't do your whole thing again. Just get dead instead. Save us all time. Come on. Dead. There we go. We wins. I think I now understand Alphano's aversion to water. Hmm. Prepare yourself. This is starting to look a little more sin eatery. I suspect we're headed the right direction. I'll show you. Whoop. Oh good. A way in. Yep, this is definitely. This is definitely the place. Looks like we're getting closer. We're nearly there. I can feel it. Fantastic. Because this place looks like a mess. I have a bad feeling about these boulders. Yes, this is kind of like the one other mechanic inside this dungeon, and it's not a ton of one. We've seen something like it before. As soon as we start attacking, these two are going to start forming up, rebuilding. If we can manage to take them out before they rebuild, then that'll be one less fight we gotta actually deal with. Not sure if we'll completely pull it off. I think we can take one of them out at least. I'll show you. Before having to fight it. Yeah, there we go. This one's definitely rebuilding though. But at least it maintains whatever damage you did to it before it stood up. Now there's three of them, so we'll be lucky if we can take out one. Quickly. It's kind of pointless, but whatever. There we go. Look out. Watch your steps and whatnot. It's kind of pretty, I guess. But now it is boss time. Light Warden Storge. Or Storga. Take your pick. Let's do this thing and drop down a long way one more time. Just for funsies. There it is. Let's get it. Well done, Rain. Now to end this. Get it! I quite like this boss, actually. It's not too complicated, especially once you know what to do. It can just take a little bit of, uh, like, thinking for figuring out where to stand to dodge all the things. So, we're gonna see a few mechanics like this. Here's Heretic's Fork. We're gonna see, like, triangles facing in four different directions. We need to be not standing in front of the big triangle, because it'll blast out in a big beam. This is the other version of that attack, which is a big AoE. Gotta stand underneath the boss to be safe. 
Those are kind of like the two main moves to remember. For the third mechanic, which is about to come up pretty soon here, Crystal Nail. It's going to drop these nails down and then do one of these moves. So, stand away from the uh, danger triangles. But now, because of these crystal nails, the nails are going to copy that move that it just did, one after another. So, don't stand in front of the triangles. Don't stand in front of the triangle. And there you go. Just gotta mind your positioning, and then one last one from the boss itself. And there you go. Easy. So far, so good. Crystal nails are coming down again. But now it is following those with a different move, the breaking wheel. Which means we need to stand underneath the boss, so when these nails copy that... We're going to need to repeat that same Danger Puddle Evasive Maneuver. Very good, very good. Gotta make sure to stay in it long enough for the puddle to go away. All right, and now onto the boss. And we got it. No biggie. And that's basically the fight. Marvel, give me strength. Get it, Rain. Beautiful. Almost got it. Just got to make sure we continue evading while trying to finish the job. Eyes on the prize, but not too much. Mind your positioning and whatnot. All right, now we finish it. Yes. Another Light Warden down. I'm sure that's fine. Whew, all right, well, all good, all good and fine. So, welcome. Are you at all injured? I don't know. I'll be honest, I have no idea. That was a passing strange form for an eater. I agree, it was a little wacky. Good job, you. No thoughts, no. Neither of you. It seems that Rain was correct. Thank goodness we succeeded. And good job to the both of you. Proud of you both. At last. So we all did a good job, I think. All right. Let me uh, tidy up the screen here and let's see how the outside is looking.
Don't get me wrong, I'm glad those travelers made it all the way to Nabatha Reng. But when Urianje told me the Talos was in pieces and the trolley didn't look much better, I couldn't help wondering what in the hells had gone on. What indeed? At least the heart is in one piece. The rest is replaceable. Looking at this mess, though, it's a miracle they survived. <laughs> you can say that again. What? What the? Are you seeing this? The sky. It's... It... Much better. Oh, I do love that every time. At last, night has returned to Amareng. We'll save this broken world yet, Tesleen. You see if we don't. No doubt retreating in the wake of the Warden's demise. Back to Calusia, the last refuge of light. Home to our dear Lord Vorthry, who will no doubt do everything in his power to thwart us. As well he should, for defeat there would spell the end for both him and his heavenly host. There the fate of this star shall be decided. Well said. I'm excited for that fight. But one thing at a time. Is this not the moment Emmett Selk usually chooses to descend upon us? Whatever will we do without his feigned praise and backhanded compliments? <laughs> I'm sure he'd have something very snarky to say in response were he here. Once more shall the knight share equal dominion over the firmament. And yet our travails are far from over. But not as far from as before. Perhaps the administrations were not as thorough as I thought. Or perhaps I was a touch too reckless. A good tanking back there. You should maybe rest now. If only I could have seen the look on Magnus's face when the night sky returned. They must all be so happy. But what about you, Derman? Do you feel different at all? I don't know. The end to Light's dominion over this world is fast at hand. We did it. We really did it. I only wish there were time to visit the inn. We can but hope the return of night has granted the residents some shred of comfort. They thought the world beyond changing, but today I think we proved them wrong. We will fix this broken land, Dermon. Together. Darn right we will. But we're going to have to uh, continue that work next week. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time back in my Dark Knight form, because, well, I think we all saw how that went. Regardless, until next time, goodbye.